Hey, this is Earthly Love Medicine. Today is day 60 of my solid food vacation. I am about to go to bed and I realized that I haven't recorded in the last couple days and then I just really didn't want to miss day 60 and I promised myself that I would record. So I am. I'm just being quiet because everybody in my house is already asleep. So I just got out of the shower, like my third or fourth showers today. I'm stopped smoking pot yesterday and if you've been watching my videos you know that I was going to stop earlier on in the journey um, but the detox symptoms and the nausea and all the stuff was I was really struggling with it so I didn't stop and um, so I stopped sometime yesterday like around four or five o'clock I think that was the last time I smoked and then I was just like you know what? I'm not gonna smoke for the rest of the night I know it'll make it easier for me tomorrow to not smoke and it did it made it a lot easier because I didn't wake up all uh, and then I wanted to smoke within a couple hours like none of that happened because I really was ready to stop um but I uh today was weird like I felt really weird um I feel like I um more aware of my body because the weed was really helping with the the you know the symptoms of the doing the enemas and stuff so I don't know about other people um on this journey but um like I was sick when I started so I wasn't athletic I wasn't you know super healthy yes I was vegan but I had gotten real junk food vegan at the end there um you know not a lot of greens and stuff and uh I was sick, you know, and through this journey, if you've watched my videos, I learned, I realized that I had a compacting colon and that's what my skin condition is being caused by, which looks pretty good, by the way, guys. Um, I'm still got like, if you see it, see, it doesn't look the greatest. I still have a little bit of a breakout, but my stuff was like cracking and oozing and everything like a week and a half ago. So, um, and then the stuff on my legs is doing really well. So my skin is starting to clear up. I don't know if I'm going to have any more break breakouts. I might, um, but so far I'm doing okay, which that's been like the most agonizing thing this whole time is just that I kept breaking out and breaking out. So hopefully as I'm breaking down this thing, I'm getting out all the stuff. So I did like three enemas today. I did like two coffee ones earlier in the day and then I did a water one. Um, like I said, um, the enemas are really uncomfortable, but the taking showers, like that's my Zen shit right there. So when I'm feeling weird, I just get in the shower. Like I was feeling weird. So I just went and laid in the shower and warmed up because it like went from being like kind of nice today to like being really cold this evening because where I live is a valley. So like it gets really hot during the day, like especially in the summer, it's ridiculous. And then, um, and then in the nighttime, the temperature will drop like 30, 40 degrees. Sometimes it's really, really cold. So, um, which is not my favorite part about where I live. Um, I kind of grew up closer to the coast and, um, coastal temperatures usually stay in a certain range. It doesn't, it's not really super dramatic. Um, so it, it affects me even though I've lived here for quite a while. Um, so anyways, um, so I had a lot of energy today and I think that I've probably had more energy than I realized, but using the weed to help me with my nausea and being uncomfortable, I think that was affecting my energy. And I kind of knew that and that's why I didn't want to smoke anymore, but I didn't want to give it up because I didn't want to feel weird. Um, so today I felt really weird. I could feel um, how hungry I am. I could feel um, how empty my stomach is and I could feel the energy in my body and I'm like god I wish I didn't wait this long because 60 days I would have gradually got like this um but because I was smoking I probably did gradually get like this and I didn't feel it as authentically so um the energy was like really intense for me today um like if it was really weird um so I walked through that took lots of showers um drank lots of juice and just uh watched videos and watched, you know, shows and stuff, trying to distract my mind. Um, I felt really super uncomfortable a couple times today where I was like, don't get in your head. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause you know, if you've gone through something like this, that there's times where you start to get in your head and be like, what am I doing to myself? Right? Well, you know, like I said, I had the, the weed to help me with some of the symptoms I was having. So today was kind of uncomfortable because of that. Um, but I'm glad I stopped. And one of the things I know about stopping smoking weed, because um, I've taken many breaks over the years, I smoke and then I don't, and then I do, and then I don't, because I like it, but I don't always like it. So, um, you know, I go through my phases. And so I know that it usually takes me a couple days 
to not feel funny afterwards because it really does mask symptoms. So like if I'm going through something really intense or whatever, it really helps me ease through it. But then once I stop smoking, then the intensity and all that kind of stuff is like, you know, more intense for a minute and like then it gradually feels better again and evens out. So, um, you know, I don't know. I'm, you know, we all have our own journey and things affect us differently and our relationships with things are different. You know, I've had a relationship with weed my whole life, you know, on and off. So, um, I'm glad that I was able to say no to it today. Um, one of the things, um, that I do that I don't share on this channel is that when I go out in public, I cover my head. Um, I generally just wear like really cute hats. Um, but today while I was in the house, I felt really vulnerable. And so I was covering my head all day long. So I think that's one of the things is like, I'm really aware of my spirituality. Like I have been for days. And I think that's kind of what led me up to, excuse me, I'm like, itching. um, it's kind of what led me up to saying, okay, I'm done. Um, because I can really feel that spiritual stuff. Like, you know, it, it, unless you're spiritual, I, I, you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. But if you are spiritual, then you totally understand what I'm saying. You know, you become more sensitive and you can kind of feel things more and hear things more. And, um, you know, or you um, start to have more of like a greater understanding of things. And like, you know, a lot of that's going on. I mean, even last night I was like thinking the whole night because I hadn't smoked before bed. And like, so, yeah. Um, but like I said, I usually within a couple of days I feel fine so I'm glad that I stopped because I really want to feel this authentically and I want to have the experience that I'm meant to have and I don't want to cheat myself of that so um I'd love to make a longer video but I'm pooped and I just really wanted to share day 60 with you guys um it it's been trippy thanks